Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you for joining me here today. We are coasting through the week now, and we're uh, taking a look at God's Word to try to start us off and uh, start us on the right foot and, uh, and try to live and flesh this whole biblical thing out as we uh, try to serve him every day. Today I want to take you uh, to the book of Galatians. We're in the New Testament again, and, and Paul is writing like he did yesterday. He's writing to a church that's near and dear to him, and uh, he makes a statement in Galatians chapter 5, verse 24, that I think is really, really important for us to keep in mind and to try to live by. Um, well, let me take you to that verse first, and then I'll unpack it some more. You ready? Uh, take a look at the screen. Verse 24 of Galatians chapter 5 says this, Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and crucified them there. All right, the passions and the desires of the sinful nature. Now, I have been around Jesus and tried to serve Jesus for the vast majority of my life. Okay? And I think, as, as I've observed all this, uh, I, I, I think it has become pretty customary for believers to try to, um, to to try to deal with these these passions and the desires of the sinful nature to try to deal these with these things uh, in a way that is opposite what Scripture tells us to do. Um, basically, when we're des when we're dealing with sinful desires. And sinful passions. You might say, "Well, Pastor, I don't have any of those." I I doubt that. I doubt that. Okay, because we're all human beings, and we all deal with the flesh. We deal with that sin nature that we're all born with. So the question is, how do we handle it? And I think I think a lot of people try to manage it instead of trying to crucify it. Let me say that again. I think sometimes we're guilty of trying to manage it rather than crucifying it. Again, the scripture says if we belong to Jesus, then all these sinful desires and sinful passions that we have that are contrary to God's best for us and contrary to the word of God, all of these things we got to nail those things to the cross. We, we have to crucify those things. In other words, we got to put those things to death. We don't toy with them. We don't try to manage them. We don't try to see how much we can get away with before we cross over some sin line. Uh, we have to put those things to death. And for some of us uh, watching today and listening to this, that very well might be a daily thing. Where you wake up in the morning and, and, and there's some things that you got to nail to the cross. Because if you don't, if you don't, they very well could take control of you. And whatever that thing is or whatever that desire is or that passion is that doesn't belong in your life, if, if we don't become ruthless with those things, and hear me, if we don't become ruthless with those things, they will become ruthless with us. And so we have to deal with sin properly. And we got to kill it. We got to crucify it. We have to nail it to a cross. And I want to encourage you today. Um, if there's a particular issue in your life that is not pleasing to God, okay? Uh, I'm not here to condemn you or make you feel guilty. That's not the purpose of this scripture. I'm here today to say there's a way out. There's a way to beat this thing. And that is to nail that to the cross every single day. 
Don't toy with it. Don't mess with it. Don't see how close to the fire you can get without being burned. Nail it to a cross. Crucify that thing. And let Jesus give you freedom and victory over that. All right, my time's up. Thanks for joining me. Love you. Thanks for listening. We will talk to you, Lord willing, next time. Take care. Bye-bye.